theater on. Okay, this, this is cool. Welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad that you're here. Today I want to take you on a tour of our theater room. So stick around. house tour videos and our journey of moving here to this new home and all the different projects we've done, you've already seen this room to a certain point and already know that it's a pretty cool space. But we have just recently added a few final, final things that just took it over the top for us and I want to share it with you. As well as we've automated some things with our Apple HomeKit in, in making this a smart room and so it's pretty awesome. There's only two projects left, and project is too big of a word for one of them, but two things left that we want to do um, to update the room. And it won't change the structural look of how cool it is. One is, is we need to re-carpet this house. And so we just never did it in time before we moved in, and now it's just until we get some money. And then the second thing is, is Apple just released their HomePods the larger home pods again and i'm excited about those and so at some point i'm going to get those instead of the home pod minis that we have um but that's not going to change the look of or function of the room it's going to change the experience of the sound of the movies but the home pod minis are still pretty awesome so uh, let me show you what we've done in this room because it's pretty sweet it's awesome we're loving it and yeah i want to share this with okay, you okay so the coolest and most obvious change in addition are the four movie posters. They are light up panels, backlit panels, and you could swap in posters uh, anytime you want, anytime you want to change. So like at Christmas, there's a chance that we'll probably get all Christmas themed posters. Uh, or if we're doing a special movie marathon, um, with multiple movies in a series, we could get the posters for that movie when we invite our friends over for that. So there's plenty of options. But Diane being the movie fan that she is, we got some classic movies in here that, well, mostly she loves. But I'm okay with them. It's a Wonderful Life, not my favorite movie, but it's a standard in this household. The Godfather, not my favorite movie, but I love it and can appreciate it. Diane adores it. Gone with the Wind. I hate it. Diane loves it, but it is such an acknowledged classic. Even I'm willing to see the poster in here. And the sound of the sound of music. Well, that's the only movie up there that I really love. <laughs> but that's okay. The posters look awesome, and they're just really cool. So the frames clip open, clip out, and you just replace the posters. You can get the movie posters from a number of online sites. And so they're pretty, pretty awesome. I'm glad we did this. Our daughter got us the posters, well, got Diane the posters for Christmas and one of the frames. And then I finished it out and hung them up so that that was what we had envisioned all along in the room. Then our snack bar has been significantly updated as well. We got this with some Christmas money. We got the refrigerator and a little freezer so that snacks can be up here. We got a second Ninja Foodie for those of you that are our Ninja followers. This is the older model. We figured that was plenty for up here. We have a popcorn machine and, uh, and we have this, these all-in-one popcorn packets that you put in the kettle and they cook up great. And then with some money for Christmas, Diane got this ice maker and that makes this incredible pellet ice. It's wonderful. It's not as, as fancy or highly rated as the GE profile one that's so intensely popular, but we got this at Costco at a fantastic deal and it works for our needs just fine. This is not a heavy duty ice maker that we're using uh, downstairs, downstairs in our daily life. So this is perfectly fine. So in the freezer, we've got some snacks that we can cook in the Ninja Foodie. And we've got sodas and waters and 
cookies uh, in in the refrigerator. And uh, I we did come across a time where I thought, oh, it'd be nice to have a microwave, but I don't want to add another appliance up here. But a microwave, frankly, would be functional. But we've got jars of snacks, sweet and savory up here. We like nuts, lots of mixtures of nuts, and then some spicy mix, some utensils, some small plates, small bowls. Gotta have the red vines. That's one of those, do you like Coke or Pepsi? We like red vines versus, I don't even know what those red things are that, that uh, another company makes. I just can't stand them. But we love our red vines, some glasses, and then of course some cool artwork and lights and cool glass shelves. Snacks down there, some savory ones as well, chips and nuts and all that sort of stuff. So it's tricked out pretty nicely. Now, of course, this popcorn bucket doesn't stay on here because that gets hot, um, but I brought it up here to show you uh, for um, this video. Love the little ninja. It flips up as well, like the others. Um, I don't bother with it down here because I'm not trying to save some counter space, but we can, but we can bake some cookies. We can air fry some appetizer snacks. We can do any number of things up here. And so it's pretty, pretty useful. Pretty fun, pretty fun setup. For some parties we've already had with uh, Kim and Phil coming over, as well as for some football playoffs, we line up there with some snacks. It's like a buffet. We've got under the cabinets, we've got some um, full-size plates, paper plates and display um, items and other utensils. So we've got it all stored and ready to go. There's some games in the cabinets as well, but this room is pretty awesome. And I've shown you the theater chairs, but let me show you again for this video so that you don't have to go back and look at other videos. Although I appreciate you checking out our previous videos. That's really cool when you do. That's pretty sweet, huh? And there are four of the recliners and then this middle unit here, you can see here the table is down. When it's up, it's just another chair so that there is seating for six, reclining for four. But since it's mostly just Diane and I, and sometimes my mother-in-law coming up here, this is perfectly fine. Gives you additional cup holders. These center things pop open for plugs and charging units. This pops up and there's lighting underneath there. So it's a pretty tricked out little couch. It, they're not design wise the most attractive for a living room, but for a movie theater, they're incredible. And we love that. This room is just super, super sweet. Let me show you some of the lighting scenes that we've set up. Movie on. Okay. What happens is the posters go off, the fan light, the central light, this light over on the corner of the room. The uh, sconces go to a slightly dimmer, so does the uh, snack bar light. When the movie is over, I can say, movie over. All set. And everything comes back to full light so that you can get up and clean uh, things up and leave the room. And then of course, when we're all done, I can say, theater off. Okay. And then everything goes off, except for the television. Even waffles, even waffles has a themed set of toys for the room. Rascal got these for her for Christmas. Actually, Kim and Phil, of course. Look at that, Bark Flicks, Popcorn, and Cola. Little toys that she has fun playing with. This is an awesome space. Got a little seating every area over here with the game table. Some art on the wall. Down, down here, we've got a hallway that leads to my studio further down, some closets, and the bathroom. Who cares about the bathroom, but I want to show you 
that we've even set up some dishwashing station up here so that we don't have to carry all those dishes downstairs all the time. So we've got this cleaning kit that we brought for up here with a dishwashing soap, sponge, and a drying rack in the sink. And that way, all the different dishes that we have up here can stay up here and we're not carrying things up the stairs. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video tour of our theater room. We, again, we're so excited. This is a really fun space. Without a doubt, the coolest room in the house. And we've got some cool spaces, but this is, this is the most fun space, of course. These movie poster frames, not the posters themselves, but the frames are pretty awesome. You can get the posters and put them in regular frames without lighting up. But these backlit frames are what makes it feel to me like an actual theater. And it made it very fun and special. Um, I will have a link below in the description where you can get them. I am working on having a special discount that gives me a slight commission. But nonetheless, I'm still going to put the link below because they're worth considering. Um, they're pretty, pretty cool things. And, uh, and so check them out as well. Well, hey, thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this. If you did, would you go ahead and press that like button? And, uh, and if you haven't subscribed already, would you do that? I just, I would love for you to join on with our growing uh, channel. Uh, we're actually adding a lot of uh, subscribers here uh, in this year and, the, and last year. We've more than doubled. Uh, it's been pretty exciting. And it's things like this. I think that you want to see just how an average person does an update to their homes. And, uh, and so it's pretty fun, along with a lot of the other content that we have. So please go ahead and join us. I don't know if you realize, but one of the things that helps a channel grow on YouTube is making comments. Uh, when people make comments, it shows engagement, and I respond at this stage of our channel size, I respond to every single comment. And I'd love to hear from you on what you think this room needs, what's your favorite part of this room, if you've done a movie theater room and some of the things you've done to make it special, um, I'd love to hear from you. That'd be pretty cool. So thank you for being here. Be good to others. Bye-bye.